quite as powerful about that as Chair Karen was. <laughs> so welcome everyone. Thank you so much for being with us tonight um, for this special call meeting. Um, we want to welcome members who are here in person along with uh, Mr. Johnson who's joining us virtually as well as those who may be viewing the meeting remotely. A few notes to announce about conducting virtual meetings. These meetings must comply with the requirements of the Open Meetings Act. Accordingly, KBE members who are tuning in virtually must ensure, Mr. Johnson, that your video is streaming and you can be seen throughout the duration of the meeting. Members tuning in virtually, please also mute your microphone when not talking. However, all discussions must be broadcast to the public. Therefore, be sure your microphone is not on mute when you speak. Every time you do speak during the meeting, please unmute your mic, state your name, and take a short pause. This will give the software time to recognize you. And for any items that require a vote, a roll call vote will be necessary to record the vote of each member at that time. At that time, the member should state his or her name, pause, and then state, I vote to blank. So you're getting used to all that, Mr. Johnson, but there's all of your rules for tonight. Everyone also please silence or turn off other electronic devices that may cause disruption to your sound feed. And Jennifer, I think we're ready for roll call. Okay. Joanne Adam. Here. Claire Batt. Here. Holly Bloodworth. Here. Alvis Johnson. Here. Patrice. requires this board to go into closed session under the Open Meetings Act, KRS 61.8101F, as allowed by and under requirements of KRS 61.815 for a working dinner and discussion of individual candidates for the Commissioner of Education position, which might lead to the appointment of the next Commissioner of Education. And there being no business to come before the full board at the conclusion of the closed session, I also propose to recess the meeting upon the conclusion of closed session and to meet again tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Do I have such a motion? I so move. Thank you. We have a motion from Dr. Porter Robinson. Do I have a second? I second. And a second from Ms. Bloodworth. Thank you so much. We're ready for a roll call. Joanne Adams. Yes. Blair Bat. Yes. Holly Bloodworth. Yes. Alvis Johnson. Yes. Patrice McCreary. Yes. Sharon Robinson. Yes. Lee Todd. Yes. Lou Young. Yes. We will now go into closed session. At this time, we will cease live streaming of our meeting. Upon our return tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, we will resume broadcast of this meeting and the open session portion of this public meeting on the KDE Media Portal Watch Live page. Um, and members, after live streaming concludes, we will meet in the mezzanine ballroom, salons A, B, and C, in the morning between 8 and 8.15 a.m. We will have a working breakfast after, after roll call at 8.30 a.m. Uh, good morning, board members. Those of you who are joining us in person and welcome to uh, Cody Pauly Johnson, Jacqueline Coleman, and Alvis Johnson, who are joining us virtually. So glad that you're here. Also, welcome to our audience who may be viewing our broadcast this morning. A few notes, as you guys are accustomed to, to announce about conducting virtual meetings. 
These meetings must comply with the requirements of the Open Meeting Act. Accordingly, KBE members who are tuning in virtually must ensure that your video is streaming and that you can be seen throughout the duration of the meeting. We can see you now. And Mr. Johnson, they're working on the video for your end as well. Members tuning in virtually, please mute your microphone when not talking. However, remember that all discussions must be broadcast to the public. Therefore, be sure your microphone is not on mute when you speak. Every time you do speak during the meeting, please unmute your mic, state your name, and take a short pause. Uh, this will give the software time to recognize you, you, recognize you. Um, for any items that require a vote, a roll call vote will be taken to record the vote of each member, and at that time the member should state his or her name, pause, and then state I vote to blank. Everyone please turn off your cell phones and other electronic devices that may cause disruption to your sound feed, and Jennifer, we're ready for a roll call. Good morning. Good morning. Joanne Tata, here. Holly Johnson, present. under the Open Meetings Act, KRS 61.8101F, as allowed by and under the requirements of KRS 61.815, to conduct individual candidate inter interviews and discussion of individual candidates for the Commissioner of Education position, which might lead to the appointment of the next Commissioner of Education. Do I have a motion to go into closed session for such purpose? So moved. Albert Johnson, so moved. Thank you. I have a motion from Patrice and a second from Mr. Johnson. At this time, we'll have a roll call vote. Joanne Adams. Yes. Claire Back. Yes. Holly Floodward. Yes. Alvis Johnson. Alvis Johnson votes yes. Patrice McCrary. Yes. Cody Holly Johnson. Cody Johnson. Yes. Sharon Robin. Yes. Lee Todd. Lee Todd. Yes. Lou Young. Yes. We will now uh, go into closed session. At this time, we will cease live streaming of our meeting. Upon our return, we will resume broadcast of this meeting and the open session portion of this public meeting on the KDE Media Portal Watch Live page. As the board did not take any action in closed session, it should now discuss the next steps requiring action by the KBE in the commissioner search. Do I have a motion to direct Chair Young to engage in discussion and contract negotiations with the candidate identified by individual KBE members for the possible appointment of the next commissioner of education in closed session? I so Motion from Ms. McCreary. Do I have a second? A second. A second from Ms. Bat. At this time, we will have a roll call vote. Joanne Adams. Yes. Claire Bat. Yes. Holly Ludford. Yes. Alvin Johnson. Yes. Patrice McCreary. Yes. Cody Johnson. Cody Johnson. Yes. Sharon Robbins. Yes. Lee Todd. Yes. Lou Young. Yes. 
Um, and please note the chair shall report back to the full board regarding these discussions and recommend next steps in the appointment of the next commissioner of education. Our next item on the agenda was to be a resolution um, consideration by the board regarding a statement of commitment to educational equity and racial justice in Kentucky public schools. Um, however, we do need to continue to work some on the resolution and are not quite ready uh, to present the resolution tonight. So if possible, might we have a motion to table this item? Albert, move the table. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. We have a motion by Mr. Johnson. Second. And a second by Ms. Bath. Thank you. Any discussion? Jennifer, please call the roll. Joanne Adams. Yes. Claire Fact. Yes. Holly Ludworth. Yes. Albert Johnson. Yes. Patrice McCrary. Yes. Cody Johnson. Cody Johnson. Yes. Lee Pye. Yes. Lou Young. Yes. Thank you. And at this time, I need a motion to adjourn the meeting. I move we adjourn. Thank you, Ms. Bloodworth. Do we have a second? Second. Second from Ms. And, and do we have a roll call, please? Joanne Adams. Yes. Claire Back. Yes. Holly. Yes. John. Yes. Patrice McCrary. Yes. Cody Johnson. Cody Johnson, yes. Lee Pye. Yes. Andrew Young. Yes. Thank you so much to all the board members in person and virtually for your efforts and dedication over the past few days and certainly the past months. Thank you also to those who watch the broadcast remotely. This meeting is now adjourned. <laughs>